Those new U.N. sanctions, a big victory for U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. She will be Dana Perino's guest tonight, 7 p.m., on The Story. You'll be sure to uh, want to catch that. While North Korea continues to inflame tensions around the globe, there is a group of scientists watching that country around the clock. Shepard Smith reports on the important work of waiting for the next nuclear blast. According to the Seismological Society of America, most of what the world knows about North Korea's past nuclear tests comes directly from work by seismologists. These scientists study earthquakes and energy waves moving through the ground. Nuclear blasts create their own energy waves, and studying them helps pinpoint the location and size of explosions. On September the 10th, 1996, the UN General Assembly adopted the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. That banned nuclear explosions everywhere on Earth, the atmosphere, underwater, and underground. North Korea is the only country to perform nuclear tests in this millennium, and all have been underground. That makes seismologists essential. In the case of the last test of North Korea, over 100 seismometers of our network detected the explosion, and uh, seismologists very rapidly can determine the location. The Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization has more than 300 monitoring facilities around the world. Randy Bell is the director of its international data center. There are 183 countries that are signatories to the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty, and all of them get access to this data. We don't tell them what to think, what the answers are, but we provide them the information so that they can reach their own conclusions about what might have happened. According to his organization, when North Korea tested nukes in 2006, 2009, and 2013, the data was processed and distributed to their member states within two hours of a test. Or in other words, faster than North Korea could even go public with news of its own test. All of the governments of the world can trust the data they get from the international system, and that really helps diplomatic discussions and reaching consensus um, in the international world. And Shepard tells us it's not just seismic waves. Scientists also monitor for other signs of nuclear testing, things like landslides, low-frequency noises, even small shifts in the ground. After one test blast last year, scientists say the ground jumped about an inch near the test site.